Well, it was it was exciting to share because I was inspired by so many posts. And I did it right before Christmas and then I got busy, but I'm like, I want to share too, because it's so amazing. I believe in sharing the different perspectives because it's all a bit different, but there's also some sort of thread that unites us. Um, yeah, that was really well said. There's so many buzzwords out there to deal with health and our potential, but the word alignment is such a powerful one and it will be defined at different ages and stages of our lives so the biggest surprise for me was i'm pretty healthy but what's interesting is we normalize different states of being like the new normal so you you have a certain type of stress in your life and you just get used to it you're like oh this is my healthy so I was so surprised because I felt really healthy. I had some like random symptoms, but I overall felt healthy. So it was such a surprise to know there's another level of health and alignment, and there often always is. So for me, there's kind of like the nothing superficial, but just in a sense of actually having my abdomen be less inflamed and seeing some more visual signs of abdominals. That was like more for the ego, but that was really exciting and a huge surprise. I'm not really glued to the numbers of how much waste I lost, but um, just lots of little things. Another like really happy surprise was when I'm when I wake up in the morning, it's like, boop, the body's up and I'm like, I'm ready to get out of bed. So all these little things of feeling, wow, my body's functioning more alert more clear less of this like lingering type of haze and thoughts and energy and i could say some more but that's that's what i'll say for now <laughs> wow well i i'm so grateful that zen cleanse came into my life because the self-help industry the detox industry is a million dollar industry and there's everyone trying to make money off it and who has the prettiest packaging and who's the best spokesmodel so i'm i haven't dove in as much as you or other people but you do hear stories of years of thriving to heal a health ailment or crazy long juice fast three months water fast so i'm just amazed starting my detox journey and that i was able to find zen cleanse which is from my experience so far with just the intestinal cleanse yeah, it's, you feel a lot more support with the enzymes because you're taking in some of that enzyme foods, so you're supported. So just a statement about the gratitude of that. And I look forward to trying different products along my journey because it's a lifestyle, not a once every 10 years situation, which I'm learning and uh, I'll be an advocate for. But uh, yeah, I actually filmed just in case I want to make a video of it later when um all of my different releases <laughs> so i do have some of that which is funny because that's before i knew a lot about mucoid plaque and different fats so i was actually like speechless too because i'm like what is this and i i even made some jokes like what are these aliens that are coming out and i was i like looked at it and poked it and stuff and i'm like i, I remember making this statement I'm like, I don't know if I would be as intrigued if I wasn't a contemporary dancer. Like, I like a bit of abstract. I'm like, ooh, look at this texture. So I can imagine some people being like totally freaked out. But because I like art, I'm like, I was fascinated, but it was almost like disbelief. Um, Because there's so many like interesting textures, some that are more dense, like beads, and then some like, I don't know, jellyfish type of looking things. So... It was weird and it's still weird to know, but it's also fascinating, like the biology of the body and the human design is like we and creation and even disease, there's an artistry to it and it's a dance. Like as a dancer, what is the balance of eating, resting? And then if you learn more about alkaline, acidic, it's all this interesting dance. And I love telling people, yeah, I might be a professional dancer, but we're all dancing through life and you're an artist with how you eat, what clothes you wear. So I thrive to remind people 
it's different things at different times. You are an artist and this is the art of living. So let's be inspired by one another and we're all our own mysteries. So how would you describe this as different from any like other style of cleansing or like eating, honestly, any other style of like eating that you've experienced? Yeah, I, besides the amazement of the mucoid plaque and how strange that was, I actually was dumbfounded and amazed that I felt energized. I felt stable. And of course you can have detox symptoms depending on your toxic overload, but I didn't have too many headaches or sensitivities. There were a few waves of that in the first day. And I did choose to do four days on the liquid enzyme because I bought the one month maintenance. So I actually did four days with extra enzymes. And yeah, I was amazed because I felt supported and energized. And I'm like, what is this magical elixir? <laughs> so when I compare that to doing just water fasts and mono diets, which I've done for a few days, this felt, um, well, there was a bit of mystery to it. Cause I'm like, how come I feel so good and supported? So there was that, but also uh, as humans are on this planet for the sensory experience and taste is one of our senses that we get to enjoy in this incarnation. And the enzymes taste good. And because they taste good, it almost feels like a party, like party in your mouth or like a type of candy, a treat. So the, and then even just reading the ingredients, like, whoa, it's super fascinating. And I remember watching a video somewhere of how they are fermented for three years with the Buddhist mantras on speakers. And I'm like, this is such powerful vibrational food. And as a yoga and meditation teacher, I'm like, wow. I was just amazed. I was amazed and supported and a little confused. I'm like, I I'm like, I don't even miss food. Like I feel clear. And I'm able to to be myself. So there's still a bit of mystery and I'm still in kind of like the new kid on the block all with enzymes in my life. And I'm just excited to know this is available. Because again, information overload in all sectors, all industries. Um, but with health, we, we don't want to waste time. We don't want to waste money because it's very delicate, especially if you have something severe. You don't want to play around too much and waste years or get further somewhere. And so I'm amazed. I'm grateful. I'm confused, but not in a way that's debilitating. It's inviting that mystery to want to learn more and knowing there's a community and people out there that will help you dive deeper when you want to, to the degree you're, you're able to. I'm just excited. <laughs> on the quantum yeah. level. Yeah, I think that's definitely the standout for Zen Cleanse products is it's food and you will have that support. And even there's some calories involved too, right? And different vitamins and minerals. So that will ease a lot of doubts and fear around doing a detox. And I love what you mentioned about leaning into the pain. In yin yoga, we talk about find the edge. And the next version of you is outside your comfort zone. So yes, safety is part of the foundation of human existence to not fight or flight, but we're here to grow, to expand, and you won't know where you can get to unless you try something different. And that has to do with everything in our life, especially your health. And like I mentioned earlier, like we normalize where we are, You're like, oh, I'm just 40 now, or oh, this is what it is to be 50 years old and you normalize that because your mind like plays games like this is the reality but it's just exciting to know there's deeper potential and yeah it's not gonna be a tiptoe through dandelions and rainbows it can be like we don't you don't know what your experience will be when you start to look at your health but there's an ease and comfort knowing that it's food, enzymes are food and they taste good and you're not alone. And, and all the different videos out there, like there's resources to breathe and journal and like 
we have access to all this and it's really comforting okay. and exciting in ourselves before we can change other people around us like just by changing our own energy we can change other people around us because they're seeing us differently so what do you do to create mm -hmm. a better self and a better world i have a quote for that as well which is <laughs> start locally and then vibrate or expand globally because sometimes you feel like you want to do a lot or you may not have the finances or the means. But yeah, when you work on yourself, not only will you start to think differently, but all the little interactions at the grocery store on the street with your close friends and that ripple will happen, which is encouraging and exciting. <laughs>